We're continuing the examples of solving linear equations in one variable from the previous video. In example C, we want to get rid of these denominators. So what we're going to do is multiply both sides through by 6. 6 and 6 reduce giving us y. 6 and 2 reduce leaving us with 3 times the quantity 2y minus 1 which is our numerator. And then on the right side, 6 and 3 reduce, leaving us 2 times y plus 1. We can distribute and then simplify. So we get 7y minus 3 equals 2y plus 1. We can move like terms to the other side. So we get 5y on one side and 5 on the, hold on. It does help when I distribute properly, so 2y plus 2. So now, we subtract 2y from both sides to get 5y, we add 3 to both sides to get 5, and thus y equals 1. So our solution set is either y equals 1 or the set, which includes the element 1. Lastly, we have example D. We want to distribute, so we get 2x, negative 2x plus 16 plus x equals 16 minus x. We can simplify, so we get 16 minus x equals 16 minus x, which we can already see is a true statement. If you want to take it one step further, you should see that 16 equals 16 true statement. Or you could see that negative x equals negative x. This means it is an identity. So your solutions are either all reals, which we can represent as the symbol for the real numbers. There is a uh, harder problem that we could look at, which is the absolute value linear equations. This is just slightly more complicated. Because when we see an absolute value, it means that whatever's on the inside can either be the positive or negative of the value it equals. Thus, 2x plus 5 can be either positive or negative 23. So we split this into two equations that we'll solve. We'll solve for when 2x plus, 25, or plus 5 equals positive 23, and for when 2x plus 5 equals negative 23. We get 2x equals 18, or we get 2x equals negative 28. So we get x equals 9, or x equals negative 14. You can write this as x equals negative 14 or 9, or you can write it as a solution set negative 4, or it's negative 14, 9. Now that you've seen an example, Go ahead and try to solve the problems in example 2 on your own. You can resume the video when you're ready to check your solutions. Okay, for example 2a, we have our absolute value sign, which means that 3x minus 2 is going to either equal positive 1 or it's going to equal negative 1. We can solve the left equation first. We get 3x equals positive 3, which means x equals 1. Or in the right equation, we get 3x equals positive 1, which means x equals 1 third. Thus, our two options are either x equals 1 third or 1, which we can also express as a set. Again, you can do either answer. You do not have to have both. All right, how about 6x minus 7 plus 5 equals 3? Well, let's solve for the absolute value first. So we get the absolute value of 6x minus 7 equals negative 2. Okay, this is a problem. When we take the absolute value of something, it should always be positive. So the fact that an absolute value equals a negative number never happens. This is a contradiction, but it's one you've got to be careful for and you have to actually be looking for it. So our solution's the empty set. or you can write uh, no solution. Okay, last example, example C. 